The second way that I want to carve up the space of issues uh, is to focus on the system design issues and I talk about serving the user. And here I'm looking for the first issue, of course, does the computer provide the right functionality to help the user accomplish their task? Um, difficulties, of course, come when you have excess functionality. A thousand page user manual for a system with 750 commands is not very user friendly. Second issue, security, reliability, safety, availability are major issues. Companies have had to redesign their workrooms to improve the safety for users, reduce repetitive strain injuries, uh, have redesigned networks to permit high reliability, and have done redundant databases in order to protect the security of the data and make sure that it's available at any time. The third important design feature is standardization and that's been pressed very much by the uh, uniform guidelines documents that have been uh, widely promoted. Uh, the portability of software across different platforms and the integration with other existing uh, software are key issues in the success of any interface product. Uh, the fourth is the speed, the system response time, is the strongest correlate of subjective satisfaction for users. That means if the system is slow, it's very hard to have happy, satisfied users. If it's fast, you've got a chance, but then you have to concentrate on the user interface design. And for me, those design issues um, uh, can be organized by the input devices and the strategies, the keyboards that have been around will continue to be around, although there are improvements appearing for keyboarding. But I think the strongest growth will be in pointing devices. The mouse certainly has led the way with graphic user interfaces. But I think we're going to see more of uh, pen-based systems like uh, this one from Go Corporation, which has a stylus on the front. And I can simply write 